I'm using natural smoked haddock for this recipe, and this is undyed smoked haddock from Sally Barnes in West Cork. What an amazing producer. The skin is on, it's naturally smoked, and it's pin bone, so there's no bone. So we're gonna poach this. I'm gonna show you a lovely kind of a breakfast or a brunch recipe for this. So milk, full fat milk. We're gonna get a little bit of flavor. I'm gonna put a bay leaf, and just if you're using bay leaf, just simply just tear it like that. And just whisk the milk. And we're just gonna gently poach this. It won't take long. So put it flesh side down, and then just make sure it comes to the boil and then let it simmer away. Now you can do this in the oven, but on the hob you're constantly watching it and it won't take long at all. While that's on there, we're gonna do a lovely potato rosti. So I've just grated two rooster potatoes. Peel them, grate them, and you know as if you're grating cheese, the exact same thing. Put in some melted butter. I'm gonna put in some herbs into this. I have some chopped chives, but I'm gonna show you how to chop some parsley nice and fine. So chives and some lovely flat leaf parsley. So just get a couple little sprigs of that. We're gonna chop this nice and fine. Just rock it over and back. And then scoop it all in with your potatoes. Sea salt, black pepper. Get a fork and you mix it all together. So you're evenly mixing the herbs through the potato that it's all coated. Because if you grate your potato, say 20 minutes beforehand, it'll go just to color. It just oxidizes. So on this pan, we're gonna put some rapeseed oil and then we're gonna cook just one rusty in this. So a nice drizzle, pan is preheated. And then using your fork, spoon this down, flatten it with the back of the fork. One nice big rusty for this. So I'm kind of going to the edge of the pan. I want a nice big rusty here. And that's gonna take a couple of minutes to cook. And I have it on half the temperature, so it's not on a low heat, it's not on a very high heat, on a medium heat, which is perfect. So while the haddock's on, we're just gonna poach your eggs. Best quality eggs you can get, and a little bit of vinegar. Don't put salt into the water, because it'll break up the egg whites. And we're gonna crack our eggs, just bring them down. So it's the vinegar that coagulates, it means it just firms up the actual egg white. Now the one thing you don't want to do is keep it in a full heat because if it's boiling too fast, again, it's going to break up the egg. So I'm going to reduce this slightly. Just let that gently poach. Check on the fish. So how you know when the fish is cooked? When you can flip it over if you want to and if it falls apart. And that's that lovely subtle colour because there's no dye in this. So you just literally get the spoon and that's nearly done there. So the rosti should be ready to be turned using your fish slice and then just flip it over. It's golden brown, it's cooking through. I'm gonna switch my poached eggs off. I like them lovely and soft and runny. Carefully gonna lift out my haddock. And I'm gonna keep it warm. So I'm just gonna wrap it in a little bit of tin foil, and then we're gonna make up our sauce. Won't go cold. Mm, smell of that. And then wrap that like that. So we don't want it to go cold, that's really important. And then we're gonna make our sauce. So into the sauce, a little bit of lemon zest. Just grate that. We're gonna put in some mustard, Dijon or English mustard, doesn't really matter, just a teaspoon. And I'm gonna put a little bit of lemon juice, just a squeeze. And then we're gonna whisk this. Now to thicken the sauce, I'm gonna add in a little bit of diluted corn flour. So I'll just remove the bay leaf and then corn flour. A couple of spoonfuls of corn flour with water. So I don't want it too thick, I don't want it too gloopy. I want a lovely kind of light coating consistency. So just whisk that through. Looks good to me. A tiny little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper, and then we're passing it through the sieve and finishing it up with chives. It's as easy as that. Just using a little jug and a sieve, and then we just pass it through like this. And then just knock it to the side. Now, a couple of lovely chopped chives and stir that through. And there we have beautiful sauce that you've poached your haddock in. And the chives at the last minute give so much freshness, you can see that. We should be ready to serve. First of all, the rosti. That's gonna go on there. So we have a little baby spinach, a little bit of watercress. So I'm just gonna put this on top of the rosti, but it's gonna go underneath the fish. So just arrange that. So there's plenty of green and goodness in this breakfast, or brunch, or even lunch. You can serve it whatever way you like it. Next thing, we have our haddock, and we're just gonna literally just kind of, look at how moist that is. Like, that's beautifully cooked. It's not overcooked, it's not dry. So I'm just gonna arrange this, taking it off the actual skin. Now. And then our eggs. Using a slotted spoon, lift them out. Lovely. And then, I think one probably is gonna be enough for this. Put that on top. Our sauce is next.
and there we go. I can smell the lovely smoked haddock, the lovely crispness of the potato rosti, and then we have the lovely tartness with a little bit of mustard in the lovely sauce. And that is my smoked haddock, potato rosti, with poached egg and mustard sauce. Irish seafood. Easy to prepare and easy to cook for everyday meals.